Hi, it's another beautiful day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. Today we're going to look at our pepper trees. This one here and this one here. They look different, but they're both pepper trees or peppercorn trees. So this one here this is a Peruvian pepper tree, Skynus molle. And Skynus is a Latin word meaning aromatic tree. That's the genus. And the species molle is an old Quechuan word for tree. It's also called an American pepper, false pepper, and a California pepper. And this one here, this is our Brazilian pepper tree, Skynus terebinthifolia. And it gets its species terebinthifolia because he looks like a cashew tree from the Mediterranean called a terebinth. Terebinthifolia. It's also called a rose pepper, broadleaf pepper tree, Christmas berry tree, and a Florida holly tree. All right, this is our Brazilian pepper tree. And this is our Peruvian pepper tree. So where do they grow? So our Peruvian pepper tree here, it comes from the west coast of South America. He's native to the Peruvian Andes down to Argentina and Chile. And they're brought to California in the 1800s by the Spanish where their fruits were used for spices and the wood was used to make saddles. And they used to be planted all along the streets of Los Angeles but they started to attract a little citrus pest called a black scale. So all these trees were banned and removed from Los Angeles in the 1930s. And our Brazilian pepper tree here comes from the east coast of South America, mostly around Brazil. And they were brought to Florida in the 1800s for their peppercorns. And they love to grow in wet, swampy areas. And you find them uh, invasive all throughout the Everglades. Now what do they look like? Back here again to our Peruvian pepper tree. He's pretty well balanced, even shaped. He's kind of droopy, even like fern looking. And the upper branches up here, they tend to droop down, all right, instead of being all upright. And they're very fast growing. And they get about 50 or 60 feet high. And our Brazilian pepper tree, well, he's more sprawling, almost like a, shrub-like or like a tall shrub. He also gets like 50 or 60 feet high. He's multi-branched. He's less balanced than our Peruvian pepper trees. And he's more upright. Okay? Let's uh, take a closer look here at um, our Brazilian pepper tree. You see the bark here. It's grayish and shaggy. You can see and it drips a sap, it can cause some irritation to you. Okay, it's also uh, just kind of brittle, it just peels right off. Right here in the leaves. Okay. They're a little uh, oval shaped, a little bit serrated. They're dark green on top, and they're dark green on the bottom. And they uh, alternate up the branches and the stems and the roots down here these are surface roots and the roots will uh, they come out here and um, wreak havoc on your little concrete or sidewalks and they're very invasive and if you want to control it you can cut this down right here you just cut this it'll send out runners or shoots and create new trees just look how full this Brazilian pepper tree is, though. He's really upright, and he's super full. And in contrast, let's take a look at our uh, Peruvian pepper tree here. This one here, a Peruvian pepper tree. Okay, now his bark is also rough, and gray, twisted, and shaggy. Um, it's not as dark as the Brazilian. Okay, and the leaves here are much different. So they're very more fern-like here. See that, how they're, they're kind of longer. They hang down more like a, almost like a fern. Okay, and also they wave more in the wind. Okay, and the roots here as well, down here, 
the roots, they also are surface roots. And um, they're also very invasive as well. So I talk about invasiveness here. So this one here is our California pepper tree or the Peruvian pepper tree. It's invasive along the coast of California. Okay, and our Brazilian pepper tree here, it's also called a invasive plant down in Florida, down in the Everglades. Okay, and it goes absolutely wild down there. So you gotta watch out for it. And the final note here are the peppercorns. Those red guys up there, those are peppercorns and we have some down on the ground here. I'll just show you. So these guys are edible. And what you can do is you peel off the outer shell and you could uh, put that in water, make a little bit of a uh, lemonade out of that. It's got a real sugary taste, okay? And the peppers themselves, you let them dry up and you could use them as an alternate to your regular pepper that you get from India. There you go. So that's our uh, two pepper trees you find out here in Cota de Casa. Hope you liked the video. Have a great day. Bye.